The cracks of building constructions are estimated and analyzed according to the following characteristics. The width of crack opening, its length, its location, the size of a shift along the crack and from the plane of a construction. Also, the other characteristics can be important. For the qualitative fixing of the gauge for crack monitoring, we need to measure the size of the relative shift of the construction parts separated by a crack. This measurement is taken with the help of a ruler or a caliper to within 1 mm. The measured size of a shift when fixing the gauge for crack monitoring can be compensated by additional brackets. Every gauge for crack monitoring Z2.2 is equipped with such brackets. There are two brackets 2 mm wide and 2 3 mm wide per gauge for crack monitoring. Also, a kit includes assembly plates 1 mm wide, 2 mm wide and 3 mm wide. They are used when fixing the gauge for crack monitoring to ensure a necessary gap between a scale and an index plate. The kit also contains a hexnut wrench which is used to tighten the screws for the precise alignment of the index cross in the zero position in relation to the scale of the lower plate. Furthermore, this hexnut wrench can be used to unscrew the reference screws of the gauge for crack monitoring. Then, the additional brackets must be fixed. Two items of the same width are fixed on the both plates of the gauge for crack monitoring to ensure a gap between the lower plate of the gauge for crack monitoring and the surface of the construction. The other unpaired bracket is fixed to compensate for the difference, the shift from the plane, the size of which was measured earlier. Its width is chosen considering the size of the gap between the plates of the gauge for crack monitoring, which was identified when fixing the plates of the gauge for crack monitoring with the help of assembly screws. The additional brackets have a glue layer. After removing the protective paper, it is necessary to press down the bracket to the plate of the gauge for crack monitoring with effort and the reliable glue bonding will be provided. When the gauge for crack monitoring is ready to be fixed, we can start fixing it on the construction. In this video, we will show the combined method of fixing with the help of assembly glue and dowels. The fixing with dowels is the most preferable method when fixing gauges for crack monitoring outdoors. This method allows us to reuse the gauges for crack monitoring, removing them without any damage when the monitoring is over. However, if the gauge for crack monitoring is fixed only with dowels, other people can change its measurement by shifting plates. In order to avoid such possibility and to get more precise fixing on uneven surfaces, epoxy or assembly glue is used. Every kit of the gauges for crack monitoring Z2.2 includes a hole marking template for dowel fixing. After holes were drilled, the polymer part of a dowel must be inserted into them. Then epoxy or assembly glue is applied to the gauge for crack monitoring. The gauge for crack monitoring is placed on the construction and dowel screws are inserted into the holes. In this video, anti vandal dowels with a head for the key TORX in the shape of a star used. When screwing, you shouldn't tighten screws too much. It's enough to reach a contact between the head of a dowel and the gauge for crack monitoring. If you over tighten the screws, the gauge for crack monitoring can change its position after the removal of assembly screws. If only assembly glue is used for the fixing of the gauge for crack monitoring, there is an opportunity to choose the brand of glue which is suitable for using at a sub-zero temperature. In contrast to epoxy glue, assembly glue is ready for using and it doesn't need the temporary fixing of the gauge for crack monitoring for the period of glue adhesion. After adhesion, assembly glue has a free period of time during which it is possible to change the position of the place of the gauge for crack monitoring and align it. When glue reaches the required strength and bonding ceases to be moving, the assembly screws can be removed and it is necessary to measure the distance between the reference points of the gauge for crack monitoring.